everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Saris Door County 2 bike rack right here on our 2016 Acura MDX. So this is the Saris Door County or what I call the elevator bike rack. That's because if you power it with your 7-way system, it then lifts and lowers, making it easier to load your bike onto it, especially when you have those heavy electric bikes. That makes that easier and once it's all strapped down, you can then just lift the bike rack up and you're ready to ride. So we'll take a look at some of the different features, but focus on how it works with your Acura MDX and just some different things that would make it easier for you, but also possibly more difficult. This has a weight capacity of 60 pounds per bike. So what I have here is pretty much your basic electric bike. We tried a longer mountain bike style electric bike, which was a little bit too long. So we'll take a look at those different measurements. But I wanna talk about one of the features, which is that this can tilt away. So we'll take a look at that. We have this foot lever over here. So you want to turn this to unlock and then you can press on that lever. Now hold on to your bikes because this is gonna drop down quickly. So you'll want to be mindful of that. As you step on that lever, it immediately disengages the bike rack. So if you have your heavier bikes, that could be a surprise for you. Also notice since our Acura MDX has a lower hitch, our bike rack is actually now sitting on the ground, which it doesn't do on taller vehicles. But anyways, you'll want to tilt your bike rack away if you want to access your hatch. So let's take a look at that feature. As you can see here, we have our door and there's plenty of clearance between our door and our mast, allowing us to access our trunk, grab whatever we need, whether it's our bags, our waters, our coolers. We now have plenty of space to do so without having to take the bikes off. To bring it back up, you just kind of lift it up and it catches itself in the upright position. Now, if you max out the capacity, which is 60 pounds per bike, that's gonna be kind of tricky just because that's a lot of weight that you have to lift up. If you can't lift much, then you might consider just not using that tilt away feature. So with it engaged like this, you're ready to drive away. So let's take a look at the way our bike is supported. We have three mounting points. So one and two wheel straps just cinched down there on our wheels. Then we also have this frame mount. So this is just an arm that sticks out. You have another arm for your second bike that sticks out further. And right where it is, you have that strap that goes around and holds it by the frame. Depending on the shape of your frame could be kind of tricky with figuring out what's the best placement for it. So practice makes perfect for that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower the bike rack so we can take off the bike. So I turned the car on in accessory mode where our engine isn't running. And then I'm just gonna turn the bike rack on now and then just lower the bike rack. So on your Acura MDX, since it's kind of low to the ground, you're gonna have to manually pause it the moment your wheels hit right there. That's perfect. Because if you let go all the way down, it will go all the way down. Now it's in that position, we're gonna take our bike off. So start at the wheel straps, just lift that one teeny tiny lever up and then pull that strap out. Swing these straps all the way out to the side and then tuck them underneath your bike rack so they don't get caught up in your spokes when you ramp this down. Now supporting our bike with kind of one hand, we're gonna, gonna access this other lever right over here and pull that strap out so it just disengages from the frame. I'm just gonna tuck that frame mount over to the side and then we can just ramp our bike off. Notice how since that mast is so low, we don't have to worry about our handlebars catching. Now, since you have that warning beep on, I'm just gonna lift this right back up so that before we continue our demo, just so that that will turn off and we can focus on the bike rack itself. So it's now in the ready position. Let's take a closer look at this as we put our straps away. We have these straps that go around your bike's wheels. These can pivot just to accommodate those different wheel bases as well as positioning of your bike. Um, we're gonna put this strap in. It might seem kind of tricky at first. That's just because it has a ratcheting mechanism. You pull this down and then you lift this lever to secure your bike's wheel even more. 
So notice how we have that tray over there. The maximum tire width this can actually carry is up to three inches. So if you have your extra wide fat bike tires, this is probably not gonna be the best fit for you. The frame out that we talked about earlier is right here. So notice how you have that short lever for your first bike and then your longer lever for your second bike. Again, practice makes perfect when using these. Um, you may also notice how we have a locking core on that frame mount. That's just because once you have it secured to your bike, you can then lock it so that no one can adjust that lever. And with it in this position with our bikes off, one cool thing I noticed with the Acura MDX is that your hatch is small enough where you can still clear the mast even with it in the upright position and without it being tilted away. So that's really good to see. Very helpful for your other bikes if you still wanna access your hatch but you can't really lift up on the bike rack. Now, let's talk about some different specs and measurements, especially with how much space this takes up behind your vehicle. So I'm gonna measure from the back bumper of our Acura MDX to the furthest point of the bike rack, which is pretty much by these taillights. And that sits at about 35 inches of length added. So whenever you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot, that measurement's gonna be helpful for knowing how much clearance you have. So just don't forget that you have bikes and a bike rack behind you. Now for your ground clearance here in the ready position, we're gonna measure from the lowest point, which is gonna be by these wheels. So the wheels to the ground sit at nine and a quarter inches. Let's compare that over to the shank where the lowest point, which is by that pivot point is nine and a half inches. So those wheels actually sit lower to the ground. So ground clearance is very important on your Acura MDX because as you go up those steep inclines, your front will go up, your back will go down. So you'll want to be very conscious so that this doesn't hit the ground. So you saw how the elevator works. You also have these trays that just fold up and down. This can stow to the side, but let's take a look at how this works when it comes to installing the entire bike rack into your hitch. So we're gonna install the door county on our Acura MDX. Of course, it's gonna be different depending on your different vehicles, but for this specific vehicle, I really like where our hitch is located as well as where our wiring bracket is. So let's just line that all up. So we have our seven way socket over here and that's just gonna plug right in, make sure it secures. That's how you know it's completely plugged in. So this car is in park and I'm actually just gonna engage the parking brake just in case and then turn on the accessory power. So not really start our engine, just enough to start our Door County bike rack. So you can see our taillights are now on showing that our power is running through. We just turn our keys and now our key panel lights up. And since our hitch on our MDX is actually lower to the ground, that's perfect because then I can press the lower button and that will lift the shank up. So I'm being very mindful of this where I have it just out so it doesn't hit our hitch receiver, but close enough where we still have it connected. Right there, okay. So I paused it right where it's lined up with our shank, so all we need to do is just push it in. So as you can see, that was super convenient when it comes to lining it up with your hitch receiver. Now I'm just going to turn this off so that I can put our anti-rattle bolt in. So we're gonna secure our anti-rattle bolt, and what I do is I use a 5 8 inch socket in order to tighten that down. Once your bolt is tightened down, you're then gonna have this lock over here. Now I still have the keys in the door county lock, so I can't exactly lock that down yet, but remember to do that later. And with it fully installed in our shank, we're now gonna lift the bike rack up just so that it will be in the ready position and it will stop beeping. That's the warning beep, just to know that you're not ready to drive off just yet. So now it stopped beeping because it's up and ready to go. When you're ready to load your bikes, just remember to put your keys back in and then lower the bike rack, load your bikes and bring it back up. But that was pretty much all there was to installing this on your Acura MDX. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side to side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole 
or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps and you can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage or driveway. So you saw that install process was very easy on the Acura MDX. You couldn't get that kind of height on other vehicles. I tried this on like a vehicle like a Yukon or a 4Runner and it didn't raise up high enough to immediately put that shank in. So that was really nice to see for this car. Now the wiring for this car was installed by us here at eTrailer. It did not come with a vehicle. So if you do have this vehicle and wonder why you don't have that bracket behind you, that's probably the reason. You can very easily get that added using our dealer network or just visiting eTrailer.com. So my personal thoughts about this bike rack is I think it's a really good fit for this specific vehicle with the height as well as how low to the ground it makes it easier to ramp up your bikes. Of course, the downside to this bike rack is if you have extra heavy bikes that are over 60 pounds, maybe not gonna be the best fit for you. It also hits the ground when it tilts away. So you're gonna be, have to be careful with that. Again, if you can't lift too much, maybe you just don't tilt it away with the bikes on, just take the bikes off. It was nice to see how we could open up our hatch even without tilting it away. So that was good. All in all, if you really want the door county, it's really good to see that you can use it well with your Acura MDX. And that was a look here at our Sarah Door County 2 bike rack right here on our 2016 Acura MDX. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.